Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we are going to go back to Baguio. Now to do what exactly, I'm not so sure. So we're gonna go ahead and go in the process together of finding out what we are gonna do. It might be the same as last time or a little bit different, I'm not so sure. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and get traveling. <laughs> So uh, earlier I said that we are going to go to Baguio, but uh, changed the plans. Obviously, we ended up going to too big, right? I believe um, we are in Port Mary. What is it? Is it I am uh, uh, Port, uh, 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 Port yeah. Meridian Hotel. I'm not exactly so sure. Very nice. I thought it wasn't gonna be as nice presentation, but as you can see, very uh, nice lights here. Um, not sponsored by Cali Pizza, the cheesiest Philippines, as you can see. Um, I'm assuming what they meant by Cali pizza was that they're trying to imitate California, you know, California pizza, Cali pizza. So, um, yeah, here we are in Port Meridian. I'm not exactly so sure that's pronounced. We are in what? Two, six, what? Uh, 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 where? Two, one, action! Hello, guys! <laughs> okay, let's just... <laughs> Where are we? I thought you were real. No, the hotel is called... Uh, I'm... Okay, we are in a hotel. I don't remember the name. We are going to do a hotel review. Um, we have three... We have three beds. And what would you rate that one out of ten? Uh, three bedroom. Or uh, three beds. Eight out of ten. Eight. Eight, 8 out of 10. I gotta give this a 4 out of 10. Why? Because it's very close together. Oh, yeah. It's a oh, little yeah. room. Yeah, so you might bump into each other. But, um, it's okay. but we do have two TVs, right? So I'm yeah. gonna rate that 1 out of 10. 6. 6 out of 10. I think that's a fair rating. I'll give that 6, six out of uh, 10. Is a six. We have two TVs. What would you rate that 1 out of 10? Alright, so he's gonna rate that a 6 out of 10. I think it's a fair rating for two TVs. I don't know why he keeps dancing on okay. camera. I would rate that a 6 out of 10 for, for sure. Got three beds, uh, 4 out of 10 is very close, kind of claustro claustrophobic. Um, but the AC wise, I got it. It's not powerful at all. It doesn't really do anything, honestly. I mean, I gotta say, it's like. doesn't do much. I have to say. So the AC is not that strong, it's very low powered. I mean, it does go to 17 degrees, but I mean, there's no air coming from that, so I have to say, uh, not that good. I have to give that 2 out of 10, it's not strong at all. It's very, you know, it's kind of hot in here, so I'd give that a rating of 2 out of 10. I don't know where I am, but I was gonna ask him what do you rate a 1 out of 10, but I don't. Lighting wise, uh, lighting presentation is pretty nice. I'd have to say, I just have to put more lights, like maybe over here for sure. Because as you can see where I'm at, the middle is kind of dark. Though no, over here, the presentation is for sure right guys. I have to give that maybe a solid six and a half, seven out of ten for that. Nice presentation, but the view overall is not that great. The view is just staring straight at the building. So that one is a solid four out of ten. It's very dark. Uh, I mean, I mean. So overall, as a hotel room, not hotel event, the hotel itself, but the room itself, I have to give this a solid. 5.5 to 6 out of 10 for a hotel. It's not a number one 5 star hotel. I'm not even sure if it is a 5, five star hotel, maybe 3 star, 4 star hotel. Um, this is an executive suite. So overall, I don't think it's a bad um, bad hotel room. Could be a little bit better, but for sure, as the price range, I don't think it's that bad. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you a little bit more around the hotel. I don't know what happened. 
So here is TV number one. Wow. Here are the three bedrooms. Uh, three beds, sorry. There's one, two, and number three. The number of the day is three. Here is the lighting. As you can see, there's one over there and one over there, making two. And there's the AC right above. As you can tell, it makes absolutely no noise, so it's very, very bad. Um, I would show you over there, but it's too loud. So we're gonna stay right here. Uh, Yay! Yeah, we did it! Go in the pool with the phone underwater. So me and my cousin Ian just got done swimming. If you're wondering why we didn't show much, it's because I went to the pool and my phone fell in the water. So yeah. that went great, huh? Yeah, of course. Of course. No water damage. Yeah, so um, yeah, right now we're just going to go ahead and look for some restaurants nearby, as you can see here. Um, I'm going to see if there's some good options we can end up finding. Um, what are you craving, uh, uh, Aya? Anything. <laughs> anything. You're craving anything. I'm kind of craving like more of Italian, maybe pizza and yeah, pasta. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know exactly so sure if they have Italian. So, but we're gonna go ahead and see. Um, this kind of reminds me of the strip down in Vegas because of the palm trees like that one. But, uh, you, you so we're gonna see if they uh, have some show. Italian. We're gonna go ahead and see. So me and uh, Ayan and everybody, we're gonna go to Texas Joe's. It's, uh, supposedly, supposedly an American authentic steakhouse. I'm gonna be the judge of that coming from you know America obviously so I'm gonna be a little harsh on them see if they can get it good uh, so yeah I think we're gonna go to go out the steakhouse if not I'm not exactly so sure where we're headed out so um, yeah so here we are in Texas Joe's we're gonna go ahead and test their um, quote unquote American. Yeah. You know, even though we're here in the Philippines, the setup is very uh, maybe more of your stereotypical kind of American because they have a lot of old Western kind of stuff for sure. Of America, they have a bunch of American flags. Very uh, kind of like a ranch, more like of a, a pizza ranch in America. Um, the cameras are having a hard time to focus, but uh, very dim. There's not a lot of light. But uh, they have a bunch of old shows, American shows. They have American flags. They got old paintings, a bunch of wood. Uh, very more like your stereotypical American or old Midwestern cowboy kind of thing. So it's kind of iffy on that one. But um, yeah, we're gonna. I think you're gonna have the ribeye. I'm gonna have the filet mignon. Uh, maybe some baby back ribs. So we're gonna go have the test if they're American. It's very, very good food that really tastes very similar. Food, right? So we're gonna go ahead and try it. See if it's any good. Yes, okay. Right? Now we await five hours. Are you ready to wait that long? No. Okay. Okay, no. So our food came in, I ordered the uh, ribeye medium well, pretty sure, well done. And uh, what did you order? Um, wings, right? I think, I think so. Wings, yeah. So, go ahead and try the first bite of ribeye. So I had a piece of the ribeye. It is a little fatty, but I have to say they did get the taste pretty much done. They have some barbecue sauce. I do believe it tastes a lot better with uh, the steak, the ribeye. So, cousin had some. What do you think of it so far, Ryan? The steak. Eight out of ten. Why? No reason. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I have to give it maybe a probably a nine out of ten. Maybe a ten out of ten. It is good. I have to say they got the American taste pretty much down. Uh, I have to say probably one of the most accurate restaurants I've been to. What do you rate the wings? Um, 
Six. Six out of ten. So after eating some of the ribeye, I have to say that the meat is um, not that tender. It's actually more chewy and rubbery. Um, after eating about half of it, I realized it's uh, very rough a little bit. Yeah. So, but what about the ribeyes? What do you, what do you rate that one? Nine. Nine. What? Is the meat soft? Yeah. Soft. So, 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 yeah, so it's a little bit too chewy. So. Everybody's talking about it's a little bit too chewy, but now I'm gonna go ahead and rate the baked beans right here. At first, I never, I'm like, what is this? What's this? This looks weird. But let's go ahead and try. I think it should, should be good. Not bad, right? I it. They put some sloppy joe in here. We don't know. This is kind of a sloppy meat. Tomorrow we're gonna spend a whole day doing stuff. So I don't know what we have in store, but um, yeah. Let's what uh, time travel to the future. Let's time travel to the morning. All right. See, we did time travel. Like Iron said, we tried to remember to do that hand thing a billion times. So it is eight in the morning. Are you tired? Yeah. No, I have a mask on inside. We are tired, we're getting ready to go. We're gonna go to some breakfast places. You can sit down now. <laughs> we're gonna go to some breakfast places and test out their food. Um, I'm not sure what they have here. Maybe they have like an American version of Danny's IHOP. I don't know what they call it here. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and try some of that. I realize the camera is pointing the wrong way. But <clears throat> yeah, we time time traveled. Time traveled. <laughs> we, we kept reminding each other of, of, yeah, a billion times to do that. And then, um, but we're here now and we're gonna go ahead and try some breakfast food. We're gonna rate it again, right? One out of yeah. ten. <laughs> if this video is too long, we're gonna break it up into part two. So, uh, now how are we gonna transition again? Hand thing? Let's I'm go to the tennis! What? Let's go to the tennis now! The hand thing! No. Okay, we teleported again. It's going great. Um, so, what did you have? You had some eggs and so, some of this uh, meat, I'm not exactly so sure the name. It is good. Obviously, it's getting cold from the fan we're sitting right next to. Um, I believe you're having some also tacino, right? Yeah. How's that one? It's good. It's good. So what would you rate it uh, one at a time for the tacino? Eight. Eight. Eight out of one. Uh, it's very juicy. Mm. So it's very juicy, yeah. So. <laughs> this one, I'll rate maybe a 5 out of 10. This good texture is not too... Uh, not too rough, not too chewy. It's a little tender. We're gonna do some activities later. We're not gonna teleport this time with our magical powers and teleport transition. We're gonna walk like normal people. In part 2. Alright, this is me and Ian. We've been editing... I've been editing this, not you. You've been listening along. We've been editing this for so long. It's been some hours now. I said in part two because this video is so so long. Yeah, it's it's, uh, like, it's already uh, like like almost twenty minutes, so we gotta stop. So this is gonna be in part two. Look, just Siri. It's gonna be in part two. Look out for that next week, next Thursday, or Wednesday. Okay. So, I'll see you guys. You know what to say? I know. I'll see you guys in the. The next one. The next one.